This is the Amaron T2C light. Let's get straight into the video. Okay, so this is the Amaron T2C light and the T stands for two and the two stands for two feet and the C stands for RGBWW. And so let's look at the lights in the back right here. So this is the back of the, actual, the Amaron itself and you have your screen right here, your menu, your back button, and this is to scroll through your menu and also to click. You have your on and off switch, you have your DMX, and also you have a bunch of these uh, for connecting. So you have right here, you have your three eights and your quarter twenties on the end. You have a lot of those right here. You have one here, you have another one here. You also have one that is below the actual battery itself. And also you have one that is on top and you also have another right here, which is a uh, quarter 20, which is on the battery, the front of the battery by the logo. Okay, so let's go back to the back of the batteries right here. And what I wanna talk about mostly is your options for giving your light power, okay? So let's unplug. And what we'll do is we'll take this off. So when you have your light by itself, you can actually power it using the actual power cable that comes into the case. As you can see right here, it's a DC in, which is a 12 to 16.8 volts and up to 24 volts, okay? So if I should take the power cable and I plug it in like so, and then I turn the power on, you can see that it is powered by this cable. And because you have so many options for attachments, you can actually attach this with the cable if you don't want to use the battery. So let's turn this back off. Now, if you should connect your battery, make sure you line it up right here with this screw right here. You line it up, then you turn and you get a little click. Once you get that click, then you connect the, the battery and then you can actually turn the light on. The only thing I don't um, like so far, which, I, which, I, which is not really a bother for me because this is why I bought this version because I know that there's a newer version to this, which is I think is a, the PT2C, which the P I think stands for pixel. So the reason why I bought this one is because of the handle. I love the battery as a handle because I'm thinking I can use this with my brides when I'm doing certain shots in, in maybe the reception hall or maybe during the getting ready, you know, where, where, whether we're in a hotel or a ho our home. So I think this is really good. And one of the things I really enjoy about this light too, which I'll explain later, is how bright it is and also how long the battery itself lasts. Uh, with this particular light. So what we need to do, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys what actually comes inside the case. So let me just turn this off and put this to the side over here and let me slide this case right here. So once you have this, the case is really nicely built. It is padded from the top to the actual side itself and the bottom. So this is a good case for you to carry um, on any kind of trips and you can know that your you can feel secure that your your equipment inside is going to be okay all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to open the case up so once i open the case i'm greeted with these different pamphlets and this is for also it actually one of the beautiful things that i like about this light too is that it actually comes with a really great uh app so we'll talk about that in a little bit. So let's start with the different options. So like I mentioned before, it comes with your battery. It comes with an AC power and it also comes with a really long power cable. And that little noise that you heard a while ago, this, is a small o-ring that can be attached 
to either side of the light so you can actually use this to hang the light on something this is why i said this this light has so many options for you to attach on any whether it's a light stand a c stand or whatever all right so let's put that to the side so now let's just get into and you saw this already the actual lights so let's put this down and these are the actual items that comes inside the the case right there and you have these options right there so you so now that you guys have seen what is inside the case let's get back into the actual uh video itself so what i want to do now guys is i'm going to also show you how like i mentioned before it comes with the Cytos app and i'm going to actually show you how to set up especially this brand new light that i just took out a while ago okay so but, but before we do that what i want to do is i just want to jump in to show you how the menu is and on the back of the light so when i'm going to start by just turning on the power once more once you turn on the power you have the different options so if i should go and scroll through you're going to see you have this is for the power intensity you have the hue and you have the saturation and the saturation is basically how much of this color do you want um, in terms of the intensity of saturation of the actual color whether you want more saturation or less saturation all right so if i go back you have the different options now is you have the cct which shows you the actual this is where you know you can control the power from i think it's 2200k all the way up to 7500k all right and you can control the intensity right here and then now if i scroll over this is where you know you can actually control your kelvin all right and also when you come over to here now you can have you can manage your your green or magenta shifts in whatever color that is probably inside your room which i think is a fantastic thing especially as a photographer like myself when you, when you want to get the, your proper um, color accuracy this would definitely help you with that so when you press your menu now you can actually scroll through your different menu so you have the hsi your gel gel is pretty much if you go into a room where you have too much of one color you can use a gel to kind of offset and get your color properly you also have your fx which is different functions you have your light lightning you can come through your color chase your uh candle so forth and so on all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go back we have fx and you can do a, you also can do a custom fx you can set up your own fx for yourself and then you have a dmx setting this is where you want to connect and you can actually play music and then you see the actual lighting moving towards that music you also have your frequency so you can actually set this frequency in this light you also have your battery setting this is one of the main features that i really like about this so i'm going to go inside that now if you go inside battery settings you have your normal you have two hours four six and eight so the thing about i like about this too what this is saying is if you want to run your life for a particular period let's say we want to go for two hours all right, so I'm gonna go two hours, right? Let's say we want to have the light running for two hours. What this does, once I press the okay, it's gonna ask if you're okay, if you say yes. You say yes, what it's gonna do is it's gonna calculate based on the amount of power that you have in your battery, and it's gonna determine how much power you can actually uh, use to run this light for two hours. So if we should go back, all the way back and go to let's say we're gonna go all the way to cct so that that and if i go to the intensity if i should try to increase this power it's going to tell me now that with this actual the amount for two hours i can run this for at a hundred percent for two hours which i think is fantastic and as you guys can see how much light is actually being lifted above i'm not going to lift it up because i don't want to blind you guys all right so let's bring back the power down <clears throat> i'm going to bring about down to 10 percent so what i'm going to do i'm going to go back into the menu i'm going to go back to the battery and then if i sh this side now if i want to do let's say i want to run this this actual life for eight hours i'm going to do that that same test again it's going to calibrate once more 
once that's done is calibration now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way back to the to CCT now if I should go to the power it's going to only allow me to go to 36%. So based on the calculation in terms of the amount of power you have into this battery, you can only run this at 36% if you want to go for the full eight hours, which I think is fantastic. Because this light, like I mentioned before, is pretty bright. And like I said, this is 36%, which I think is fantastic. All right, so now that you guys have kind of seen the menu here what i want to do is i want to set up the other lights showing you guys how to set it up um because one of the things when i was searching um on youtube i couldn't find anything or any any video where they were showing you actually how to set up your actual um light so i'm going to show you guys how to do that so what the first thing we need to do is we're going to attach our battery so once we attach our battery we're going to plug it in once we plug it in we turn it on so now our light is on, right? So this one is turned off. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the Sidus app. So now that I'm inside the Sidus app, you have a thing called scene. And scene is what you use to actually control your lights, okay? So once I click on scene, what it's gonna do now is just gonna load. So once it loads now, you can see that my, if you go to fixtures, you will see the, the light that I had on first. So this one was already connected. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this light. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the plus. Once I click on the plus, you're gonna say new fixture. It found it, I'm gonna click on it. Now I'm gonna click on setup. Let's see how long it takes to set it up. And we are ready to go. So now that we are inside the, now that the light is connected to the app, I'm going to now tap on the actual light itself. And here we are inside the Sidus app. And I'm going to just do a quick overview, guys. So pretty much all the functionality that you saw in the back where the menu is on the back of the light, you can pretty much do here, which I think is a lot easier, which is why one of the main reasons why I bought it. Because a lot of times I want to have my light in some different uh, location where I can just sit, sit in another location and control the intensity of my lights. So like I mentioned before, you have your CCT where you can actually control your power output, which is at 100% right now. You can actually turn off the lights and turn it back on and then you can control your cct which is a uh, quarter half and full all right if you go now down to your standard which is where you're going to control your, 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 your um, kelvin you can do to 32 4000 and 56 which is you know daylight balance also you can expand your kelvin and you can go all the way to 20,000 Kelvin, which I think is amazing. So the color accuracy in this light is fantastic. Based on what I understand, I'm looking at some notes right here. The CRI is 95 plus, and also the TLCI is 98 plus, which I think is fantastic when it comes on to your um, color. So I'm gonna bring this back down. I'm gonna bring down about the intensity. So what we're gonna do next now, like I mentioned before, you can control your green and magenta, just like that by the slide and the, the, the light, the, 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 the diagram right here. And then now what we can do is we can go to source type or we can go to um, scene, which I like about this scene match, pretty much what this does is if you walk into a room and you want to match the color of that particular scene, you can just click on the match and it's going to change the color of your light to actually match that color, which I think is fantastic. But let's go to the gel section right now. And you have your different gels where you can, like I mentioned before, if you go to another an, a room and you want to match the color based on the, the light, you can actually use your, without a CTB, you can you have half CTB, quarter, half, three-fourth, and so on. So I'm going to go back to without CCB. And then now what we're going to do, we're going to go to HSI. So if we go for, to HSI, now, this is where I really love this light. I'm gonna just kind of turn it towards me. No, let me turn it down so you guys can actually see. It's gonna be a pretty, pretty bright. I can go to red, I can go to yellow, to green, to blue, which guys, come on. 
this is a function that is something that I always wanted. I have a really good light here, but the app in this, cause this is from um, Small Rig. The app on the Small Rig is really, really bad. Anyway, we're not gonna get into that right now. So now that you have seen how to change the colors, we can go to effects. Now, when you have your effects now, if you go inside effects now, you have your different uh, modes here. You have your party lights. Once you click on party lights, all you do, you press the play button, and what it's going to do is going to cycle through the different colors. You have paparazzi. You just click on the play button, and what it does is just going to flash like a camera, like you know what I'm saying. Uh, you have your fireworks. If you play that you will see it does the effect of the fireworks. So you guys get the basic um, understanding of this. What I wanna do now, guys, is I wanna turn off all the lights so you guys can actually see what the light is gonna be like in a dark room. Hold on one second. All right, so now that all lights are turned off, what I'm gonna do now is just I'm gonna turn on the lights. And as you can see, I'm controlling everything from the one app called Cytos. So I can increase the intensity as you can see and I'm controlling both lights right now. I have one right here and I also have one that is hitting the background. So now if I want I can go into color and I can just select red and I think that looks crazy. I can select blue, yellow, a light shade of green, purple, and you understand what I mean. But also, I can go into the app, let's go back to fixtures, and now I can control individual lights itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this over here to red. I'm gonna increase that intensity. Now, what I'm gonna do now on this side, I'm gonna go back to fixtures, go back to my main, and then now I'm just going to change this to, let's say, a nice shade of blue. So you guys get the idea of how easy it is for me. As you see, I'm, I'm bringing down the intensity of the blue right here. And if I go back to the other light, I'm just going to increase the intensity of the red. And you can see, you can see the different options that you actually have with these lights. And you can basically change the mood in a roof guys and I think that is fantastic so let me go back to pictures let me go back to all and I'm just gonna go back to white and I'm just gonna change it down so you guys can actually see me and I'm gonna go to 5600 so it's a nice color balance so you guys can see me properly I'm increase the power so guys let me know what you guys think of this light let me know if it's something that you would actually consider for your actual setup, whether you're doing video, whether you're doing uh, any kind of photography, whether it's weddings, fashion, you name it. Let me know in the, in the, in the comment section below what you guys uh, think of this light and what you will be actually using this for. I know I'm gonna be using it on several shoots that's coming up because I actually have a maternity shoot that is coming up and I also have a couple weddings that's coming up over the weekend. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, guys, subscribe, subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.